Moving on, representatives from the Taliban and China met in Kabul on Monday. Abdul Salam Hanifi, an official from the Taliban's political office, has met with the Chinese ambassador to Kabul, Wang Yu. The two purportedly discussed bilateral issues, and according to reports, the ambassador pled China's continued humanitarian aid to the Taliban. Also in a recent press conference, Beijing reiterated its stance on the Afghanistan issue. The spokesperson Wang Wenbin of the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed support to Afghanistan on forming an open, inclusive and broadly representative government. Listen in. Zhu 可以向你提供的信息 Meanwhile, at a press conference on Monday, the Taliban spokesperson Zabihullah Mujahid said that the Taliban hopes for cooperation from China in many fields, including economy, trade, infrastructure and natural gas. Mujahid said that the group desires to join the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. He also confirmed that an upcoming meeting between Pakistan's Inter-Services Intelligence or ISI Chief General Faiz Hamid and Taliban senior leader Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar CPEC is a part of China's most ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, aimed at renewing the country's historic trade routes in the coastal countries of Southeast Asia. Their cooperation is vital for the survival of Afghanistan. We want to establish good links. China should cooperate with us. There are so many projects awaited due to security concerns, like roads and other infrastructure. All these projects will be soon implemented. CPEC is a useful project and we look forward to implementing Afghanistan's part of the project. On the formation of its new government, the Taliban have stuck to their timeline, saying that a formal announcement will be made in the next few days. According to reports, Pakistan, Qatar, Turkey, Russia, China and Iran have been formally invited to attend the ceremony. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.